friends and welcome hey everybody and welcome back to another day here at the shop just got in this Coleman 200 power sports mini bike um, I ordered it quite a while ago it's just now able to get here finally got it I've got a few upgrades and modifications I'm gonna do to it but uh, I want to do a video of putting it together and kind of show how easy or difficult it is to put together but uh, yeah, it's just to have something around here that's a little fun to go play with and uh, seemed like a fun thing to have. So, we're going to put this thing together. It's not quite as heavy as it looks. Unlike most of the things I've seen online, this actually doesn't look damaged at all. Most of them come, they'll have damage right around the frame somewhere or in the box or anything like that. Luckily, I didn't have this one shipped. I finally got tired of waiting on Walmart to ship it. So I found a Walmart that had one in stock and just went and bought it. I've got a larger sprocket coming in. It's a 60 tooth sprocket instead of a 50 tooth sprocket. It'll give it a little bit more low end torque and uh, a little bit more power going up the hills and things like that. I'm not really wanting to go fast with this thing. It's more about going where I want to go with it and just enjoying riding around. All right, that should be our headlight. A couple of zip ties. And I'll give you a little tool kit. I imagine those aren't worth a dang. A couple of wrenches. And our front fender. And rear fender. Oh. And one of the big reasons I went with this over just the 200, um, two reasons. It has front suspension and it also has a headlight means it has a charging coil on the rotor itself. It does look like there is some damage to it. This little cover here. That's all right though. I'll deal with that. But I definitely wanted this front suspension here since this will all be off-road. All right. Beefy castings on it. All right, let's go ahead and put our tire on here before we do anything. I bet these washers are to go in between here. All right. I am going to use um, Loctite on all of this. Just because I've heard enough about how the nuts and bolts and stuff will try to come off of this stuff. So just a little dab of some 243. All right, that feels good and smooth. Let's uh, get on our bolt for the steering. One washer. Alright. Next washer. Alright. Where's our kickstand? Now, we find something to prop this up so I can get to it. Doom, 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 doom. I got this on backwards. Nope, definitely don't have it on backwards. Okay. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. 
Well, I am defeated and I have to look at the instructions. I wish they would just ex show an exploded diagram. It would make things easy for people who know what they're doing. So I was doing that all wrong. The only problem is, it says we have two small washers, one for here, one for at the bottom, and they're not here. Now there's supposed to be another small washer that's no longer in existence. Right in between those two, it said. So, that's uh, that's no fun. Yep, definitely supposed to have two washers on that. There's our nut for it. Have to look for washers, so here we go. Hey! And another large washer. Little bit of Loctite. rest of it looks pretty self-explanatory. So I'm just wrapping this video up. Um, as you can see, this thing really will go through just about anything you can put it through. And if you get stuck, as long as you're kind of strong enough to pick up the back end of it, you can move it around, get it unstuck. There's no real need to have to worry about it. Um, a few things I'm gonna be doing to it. I'm gonna be putting on some more aggressive tires and uh, a larger sprocket on the back wheel. It comes with a 50 tooth and I will actually be putting a 60 tooth on it to give it some more low end torque for the more aggressive tires that I'm going to put on it. And I will probably upgrade the air, uh, air intake and the exhaust and uh, possibly an LED headlight instead of this halogen bulb. But uh, all in all, man, I have to say this bike is awesome it's a ton of fun it actually fits in the back of my car I can remove my seat so it'll fit in there and I can take it wherever I'd like to go and just have a blast with it um, these things are a ton of fun and I can't say I have found anything wrong with this one 
and I can see no reason you wouldn't be happy with this if you were getting a mini bike. And uh, I put someone about 250, 270 on this thing and it moved them around just fine. Um, I would say the larger sprocket with someone that size would be, be pretty ideal and is what I would try to do if I was that size wanting a mini bike. Um, so I'll be doing those upgrades here in a, the next video or two, so keep a lookout for those. But until then, I will see y'all on the next one.